Human Brain Waves, Part 2 on the Biopsychological Effects of Ascension by Danny Searle. The brain has its own set of electrical frequencies it uses to communicate with itself and the rest of the body. The electroencephalograph, or EEG, measures brain waves of different frequencies within the brain. Waves can overlap somewhat, merging seamlessly into one another. Brain waves are measured in cycles per second, or hertz. Raw EEG frequencies include gamma, beta, alpha, theta, and delta. These frequencies are linked to behaviors, subjective feeling states, and psychological correlates. The frequency bands and waves characteristics are described as follows. Gamma waves, 25 to 60 hertz. Gamma waves relate to simultaneous processing of information from different brain areas. They are involved in memory, learning abilities, integrated thoughts or information task processing. Gamma rhythms modulate perception and consciousness which disappear with anesthesia. Beta waves 12 to 25 Hertz. Beta waves dominate our normal waking state of consciousness when attention is directed towards cognitive tasks and the outside world. Beta is the fast activity present when we are alert or even anxious, or when engaged in problem solving, judgment, decision making, information processing, mental activity and focus. Alpha waves, 7 to 12 hertz. Alpha waves are triggered during dreaming and light meditation when the eyes are closed. As more and more neurons are recruited to this frequency, alpha waves cycle globally across the whole cortex. This induces deep relaxation. In Alpha, we begin to access the wealth of creativity that lies just below our conscious and awareness. It is the gateway, the entry point that leads into deeper states of consciousness. Alpha waves aid overall mental coordination, calmness, alertness, inner awareness, mind-body integration and learning. Alpha is the home of Schumann's resonance, 7.83 Hz. When we intentionally generate alpha waves, we go into resonance with the Earth's frequency. We naturally feel better, refreshed, in tune and in sync. In fact, it's environmental synchronization. That is why you feel relaxed and at peace when you're in the country or on a secluded beach your brain is resonating with the earth. Theta waves, 4 to 7 hertz. Theta waves occur most often in sleep but are also dominant in the deepest states of meditation. In theta our senses are withdrawn from the external world and focused on the mindscape, internally originating signals. Theta meditation Theta waves are associated with mystery. It is that twilight state which we normally only experience fleetingly as we rise from the depths of delta upon waking or drifting off to sleep. Theta meditation increases creativity, enhances learning, reduces stress and awakens intuition and other extrasensory perception skills. Delta waves, 0 to 4 hertz. Delta waves are the slowest but highest in amplitude. They are generated in the deepest meditation and dreamless sleep. Delta waves confer a suspension of external existence and provide the most profound feelings of peace. In addition, certain frequencies within the delta range trigger the release of a growth hormone which is beneficial for the healing and regeneration process. This is why deep restorative sleep is so essential in the healing process. 
Brainwaves affect the way we feel, our health and our ability to learn. Alpha waves induce feelings of peace and harmony and just happen to be the same frequencies as Schumann's resonance. This is no coincidence. After all, our brains did evolve on this planet within the Schumann's cavity. However, as we have learnt, the Schumann's resonance is rising, so our brain waves are no longer in sync with the Earth. Join me for part three to learn what direct effects to our health are caused by this out of sync between our brain and Schumann's resonance.